Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. We are still talking about cell signaling. Last time we covered cell junctions as well as cell cell recognition and today we're going to talk about neuronal or synapse signaling. Here we can see three neurons. Each neuron is communicating with a different type of a cell. The first neuron is communicating with another neuron. The second one is communicating with a muscle fiber. And as for the third one, it is communicating with security cells such as gland cells. In all three cases, these neurons are referred to as presynaptic neuron. Why? Because it is this neuron that is transmitting the signal towards the synapse. What is synapse? Synapse is the gap or the junction between the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic cell. In a neuron, this part is the cell body containing the nucleus. The dendrites are branches on the cell body. This here is the axon, and at the end of the axon is the axon terminal. The dendrites receive the signals from other neurons, and the axon transmit the signal to other cells at synapses. If we zoom into the synapse, we see the axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron as well as the membrane of the postsynaptic cell. So the presynaptic neuron will transmit the signal to the postsynaptic cell. But how does this communication take place? When an action potential or a signal arrives at the terminal of an axon, calcium channels open. And when calcium channels open, calcium diffuses inside the cell. Inside the terminal are vesicles. These vesicles are packed with neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are the signaling molecules. So we need to get these neurotransmitters out of the presynaptic neuron so that they can communicate with the postsynaptic cell. But remember that the action potential caused calcium to enter the cell. The influx of calcium triggers these vesicles to fuse with the membrane and release the neurotransmitters to the synaptic cleft. The synaptic cleft is this gap between the two cells, like so. These neurotransmitters need receptors, right? That's how communication takes place. A signal, okay, what we call a ligand, binds to a receptor eliciting a response. The receptors are found on the membrane of the postsynaptic cell. And at many synapses, these receptors are ligand-gated ion channels. Why? Because the binding of the neurotransmitter, which is the ligand, opens these channels and allows specific ions to move into the postsynaptic cell. The binding of the neurotransmitters to the receptors will produce either excitatory or inhibitory postsynaptic potential, meaning that the postsynaptic cell will either in turn be excited and triggered or the signal will stop. It all depends on the type of the neurotransmitters and the receptors. If the receptors allow influx of sodium and potassium ions, the effect will be excitatory. If the receptors are permeable only to potassium and chloride ions, then the effect will be inhibitory. This is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.